welcome to my life welcome to my life please if you join don't forget to share that's all you need to do for me and listen as well because this will be a a, gen, a conversation i would want all of us to just contribute um so your opinion is also needed so welcome as you join don't forget to share and share and share so we'll be i'll be waiting i'll wait for five minutes then i will start so if you join please share 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 right hello goody martins welcome please as you join help me and share this is an important topic and i would want us to put heads together and uh, you know let's learn one or two things let's learn one or two things things we've been doing wrong so welcome share as you join please so i'll use this five minutes to remind you to share as you join so this five minutes i'll be using it to remind you to share as you join hello hope welcome so i'll be using this five minutes to beg you welcome linda thank you for the thumbs up i'm seeing all of you so as you join please share that's just the only thing I want you to do for me. And I see you guys. I see all of you sharing. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Janet. I see you. Welcome. God bless you. So we'll be, we have three more minutes to start. So invite your friends. The topic is already pinned there. Um, so share, 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 share. As I said, I'm going to use these five minutes to remind you to share. I will not be wasting too much of our time. But I'm, I will use the five minutes to remind you to share. Please share, 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 and share. Share, 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 and share, and share. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Please say hi as you join as well. Let me know those who are here. And let me know if you can hear me as well. I hope I'm loud enough. Right? Hello. Hello, Chiamaka. Welcome. Welcome. Please share as you join. We'll be starting in a minute. So just share and share and share. The topic is already pinned, so I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Really? yes good thank you very much hope are you serious i'm just i don't know i'm too bad with this that's true okay i said 12 o'clock nigeria <laughs> i said 12 o'clock nigerian time right oh my god please i'm sorry please i am sorry like i think this will this will keep repeating itself because the last time I made the same mistake, I don't know. We have time difference, so I don't know. I always go front and back. Sometimes we are one hour ahead of you guys, and sometimes you're one hour ahead of us. So the whole thing is just confusing. I am so bad in keeping this whole time. I'm just so bad at it. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. So the topic was... Um, as it is been there already but it is just living abroad planning to come home to get married then why most of those marriages never work out right so what is uh so why are those most of those marriages why why do most of those marriages break up why is it that most times some of these men these men they come home to get married right no matter what they do you know after living their life here abroad in the western world it doesn't matter where they are they tend to come home to get a wife and most times after getting married to this woman 
after coming, you know, fix them um, doing everything for this woman and bringing the woman back to base where they live. Most of these women, they leave this man, they leave this man. Monachi, welcome. I see all of you. Welcome. Please share as you join. So I was listening to a friend, a family friend, let's them um, to say yesterday that was complaining about this. So this guy got married and uh, he was living here. He has lived here for like many years. So he got married to a woman in Nigeria. He traveled home, he did everything, both the traditional wedding, the white wedding, the court wedding, and brought the woman down here. And the woman came after one year plus, month, some months, the woman filed for a divorce. This guy, it was heartbroken. They have just one child together so the guy was heartbroken he had to leave he had to move to another town he had to move to another another town because he was heartbroken it's it it was devastating to him you could see it like and the woman got everything she needed she got another house another apartment um she got a job she was living well you know and she's dating as we talk so right now this is just an example of what i wanted to talk about so right now i'm not talking about this guy but i am talking generally what could be the problem this is not just the only story out there there have been lots and lots of stories like this we hear it every day we see it every day and uh, sometimes we wonder is this a good idea should these men should they leave all these women they meet here to come home to get married is it worth it right so let's first of all talk about the because if you don't talk about the problem you cannot talk about solutions right if you don't talk about the problem the root of these things there is no way we can fix this so this i'm going to talk about now is part of the many reasons why this things happen but these reasons that i'm going to give is not particular to this person because this person is just a total story a total thing altogether situation so i just gave an example about him just to let you understand the topic i'm going to discuss today so why most of these men live abroad you know everybody wants to call a typical african man or let me say Igbo man because i'm Igbo, would always want let's say 85 percent. i don't want to make it 95 percent. let's say 85 percent of an average Igbo man would always want to come home to get a wife right no matter what they do abroad no matter what they do no matter how they no, no matter how successful they are no matter how unsuccessful they are they always want you know they don't feel fulfilled until they come home to get married so is this a bad a bad idea because most of the times this whole thing turn against them they invest their time they invest their money they invest everything their emotions to do all these things but at the end of the day these things don't work so please share share as you join share 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 and please let me still know what you think right because i'll be reading out everything everything you're saying i'll try and read out everything so number one factor that is affecting this whole thing is the inability for these people to tell the truth what do I mean by the inab their inability to tell the truth? You know, sometimes I used to say that life abroad is just like a, a secret court, right? Most of the things that happen here, you don't discuss 
or let me not just say you don't discuss with people who are not living abroad but the thing is even if you discuss they don't understand how things are they don't understand how things are wrong in abroad here there is we have a different life a different life altogether that if you're not living here you will not understand how it works i remember back then when i was in nigeria I didn't know how things, you know, I see abroad to be to be all about fancy, you know, um, fantasy, um, heaven, and, and a lot of it. I didn't actually understand what it entails. I didn't understand the stress, the hard work you need to put in. I didn't understand the whole, you know, waking up early in the morning, going to work, you need to go to work to take care of yourself, to to be able to pay your bills you need to have a job like this is not a place you come you sit down and, and be like okay i can go to my cousin to to go get gary i can go to my mom to go get soup i can no if you're not working you don't eat so like things like this there are a lot of things i can bring up here but let's just say this the inability for us to communicate and the ability for or, or the inability for us to communicate the real situation how things are in reality is one of the problem i remember the time my husband got married to me as i said earlier we didn't date i didn't know him you know social media wasn't that um as it is today we put out everything there and him too he wasn't the social media kind of person so but i know that if he was the social media kind of person i would have gone to social media maybe to check him out right to know what he has what he does not have the kind of car he drives and this and that but thank god he wasn't the social media kind of person i did not do all those research and all those um i didn't you know all those fbi kind of job i didn't do it maybe it is to my own advantage so i didn't know what he's what i didn't know what he has and what he doesn't have so imagine a woman who lives in nigeria and probably this guy met her online they started chatting first of all we women will go to check out things you know she goes to check this guy out okay this guy has a big car he lives in a big house he's doing well for himself he's this he's that he has you know all these whole things this is what you're seeing from afar but in reality you don't know what how all those things came to be and probably this guy is not open to you to tell you okay all these things you're seeing it is not as if it is this it is like this like it is not you know here even if you have a big car most of the most of the time these cars are on credit even if you're living in a big house most of the time these houses are on credit it's not like in nigeria if you have a, a car you have a car if you have a house you have a house you just you pay off it is yours this is not how it is abroad most of all these things are on credit so you you have to pay every month to pay these things off and most of these things you can live the rest of your life paying off all these debts so this is how it is so when you don't tell these women the truth you don't tell them the kind of job you do sometimes we don't tell you know we we don't tell these people the kind of job we do a lot of people who live abroad they do cleaning jobs both men both women to survive but i know that when you hear cleaning job it is just like for you you know you compare it with cleaning job in nigeria okay, oh this guy he does a cleaning job how is he going to take care of me but the pay is big like it can sustain you and your family so most of these guys they don't come up front to tell these women okay i'm a cleaner I do a cleaning job this is what i do or i i was i i you know I, I i work in healthcare. this is what I, I take care of old people i do this i do that so they don't communicate this the most of them they you know they try to they try to sugarcoat this job to tell them, okay i work at the hospital you work at the hospital are you a doctor are you a nurse and by you telling this woman you work at the hospital, this woman will assume because in Nigeria, when someone tells you he or she works at the hospital, is that she is a doctor or a nurse? We don't have, we don't, you know, we don't have like 
um, or, um, assistant nurses. We don't have um, assistant this, assistant that as we have here. So they don't come up to tell you, okay, I'm an assistant nurse. Um, I, take, I, I work at old people's home. I take care of old people. I do cleaning job. I, 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 I do, you know, I do um, bodyguard, um, bodyguard, I do, um, you know, these things, they don't tell you that because they know the, um, the, how people see these jobs, right? For, for those of, the, for those of us who live in Nigeria, you know, when they tell you, I do this, I do that. So you just, you know, you, your is already, is already a turn off. So they don't tell you this. So when you come, when they finally bring you here, when you come, you now see reality. It is clear. This is what they do. So this guy does a cleaning job. Then you start to compare him with the other guy who is a doctor or the other guy who is a nurse or the other guy who is a, um, a pharmacist or the other guy who is this or the other guy who is that. So now, you know, you've come in, you've seen how things are. So now you start to feel probably, oh, this is not actually what I deserve, right? So I deserve more than this. I thought this guy was probably a doctor, but I didn't know he's a... So this is not, no, no I can't settle for this. And this, you know, there's a problem. This woman might not own up. She might not tell you upfront that I, I thought you were a doctor when you told me you work at the hospital. I thought you were a nurse, but I didn't know you were... I didn't know you do this. I didn't know you do that. Because now you've come into, into the system. Now you, you understand how the system works. Now you understand that the house he's living is even on loan. Now you understand that the car he drives is not even his. He has not even paid off the whole, the rest, the whole, um, the, uh, the whole thing. You understand that all the money he has been sent, sending you was a loan he took. So all these things you don't understand. And these guys... You, as a guy, you know, you know your capacity, you know your, you know, you know what you can, you can do, but because you live abroad as well, because you live abroad, you want a high class woman who is in Nigeria, a high maintenance woman. This is also a problem. Yeah, because you have the money to, to show, you know, you have the money to spend on her while she's in Nigeria. You meet all her needs. You buy her iPhone 10, iPhone 16, iPhone 21, iPhone 30. Why she was in Nigeria, you were able to afford all these things. You were able to, you know, to intimidate other guys who live in Nigeria, who are interested in her as well. So you sweep her off her feet. You do all these things to entice her. Then when she comes here, she now finds out that you're even living below. The, uh, the you know, understand where I'm coming from. She will not find out that you're even living below the people she she has met, as you know, as she's trying to in you know, as she's trying to what's it what's it called to come into the society, as she's coming to integrate and the rest of it. She finds out that you're even living below her expectation now because she's a high class lady. Because this is what most of these men do they go for high class chick a high class lady in nigeria you bring her to you bring her here you bring her abroad and she needs you to keep maintaining her but now the reality is is here she needs to work because you can no longer afford all those are expenses you can no longer afford all those are high life but you've given her a fake um, what's it called? You've given her a false, a false, a false idea of what she should be expecting when she comes. Then when she, right now, I'm not blaming the woman because this is what you showed. This is what you, you know, your relationship was built on her believing that you can provide everything she needs. Because we are maintaining her when she was in Nigeria. So the moment she comes here, you feel you, you're going to stop. Because now you've gotten what you want and she has moved here. Now you now need to let her face reality. Why the reality should have let her understand right from there that, listen, all these things I'm buying for you, I'm getting a loan to buy them. I took a loan to buy them. It's not like I put this money somewhere. No. 
I'm just a, a, a normal um, every month salary guy. I earn every month. This is where my money comes from. I don't do drugs. I don't do any of these shady businesses. I just, I go to work. I get my salary every month. And this is where all your expenses, all the money I pay for your expenses, this is where it comes from. You forget to tell her this. So when she comes, now you expect her to understand. And if it's a woman who does not have the spirit of God in her, she's not going to understand. And you don't have to blame her. Right? So this is another issue. Another problem is this. Most of these men, you already have a relationship here that is working for you. Right? You've lived abroad, let's say, for 20 years, 30 years, and for or more than that you you know you can imagine a guy that that came to that traveled abroad when he was 30 and you've lived abroad for almost 20 years how old is this guy then you want to still come back to get married then instead of you to go for a woman that is at least of your age let's say 30 let's say 35 let's say 40 at least a matured woman, maturity in the sense of she's advanced, she has seen life, right? She, you know, she has lived life. This is a woman you should be going for. But no, you travel home, you, you want to get married to a 22 years old girl, a 20 years old girl, a 16 years old girl, and you forget that you're 50 years, right? Then you do everything. Let's say her family is poor and they allow you to get married to her because you're coming from abroad, right? Then you do everything. You do the traditional way. We see this every day. It happens. Even here we live. We see it every day. Then you get married to her. You do everything. You pay her parents. You do everything in a big way. You fix her papers and bring her down. Then when she comes, she's young. You expect to just... Keep her at home, just like that. This girl, she hasn't lived life. She hasn't experienced life. You just catch her young, right? Then you bring her abroad. Then when you bring her, you expect her to do what? Then when she comes, she sees young guys, vibrant guys, handsome guys. What do you expect some, such a woman, such a girl to do? She's going to leave you. If it is not, let me just still say this. If, it's, if it is not a girl that is that has the spirit of god in her let me just put it that way those of them that have spirit of god in them they still do they still do it so when this girl come you expect her to live with a 50 years old man trust me she will want to she will wants to mingle she will, she's going to meet friends that will tell her oh my god what kind of old man are you married she will go to parties she will meet young couples and now she's in this, you know, she, she has come. She, she's seeing. Right? Then you expect her to, to live with you. She's not going to do that. So she has to explore. She has to enjoy her life. So this is another mistake. One of the mistakes these men make. And when you bring this woman, when she leaves you, you start to complain. You start to complain that, oh, she didn't do this. She left me. I did everything for her. And when she came, she left me. This is your daughter that you got married to. But because of money, you you just, let, I'm not saying those who, who travel home to get married to maybe people who are elderly or who are older, that they don't still fall into it. But it is, it is difficult because let me tell you, a matured lady that you bring abroad who doesn't have time to start going to party and start she all she's focused on is to have her children face her life acquire her degree but this young girl she has a lot of time she has a lot of time in her hand to do all these things she has a lot of even if she decides to start having kids in the next 10 years she she you know she she will she will she will do that she that's why i say she has a lot of time she has a lot of time to settle down so you just you just bring a girl, a young girl to to come and enjoy herself. 
So another thing is this. Most of these men, you know, when you bring, when you when you go home to marry, you bring this you these women here. You expect them. You know, you expect them to. Okay, let's just say this because here abroad, those of us that live in Western world, there we have different culture here, right? Than we have in Nigeria. So what happens? You we wake up in the morning. It's not like in Nigeria, right? You wake up in the morning here. Everybody have to go to work. The kids you need to take the kids to school. You know, the it is a different situation here. But you want to expect that woman to still act like a, 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 a woman living in Nigeria. It does not work like that. Because here she okay, she, if if is if she needs to go to school, if she needs to get a job, she has to do all these things. So as you're hustling, she's hustling. So the whole orientation needs to change. The whole culture, the whole okay, you're the wife gun cook. You're the wife going to clean the house. You're the wife going to do everything needs to change. Because right now, you're living in a different place. And to meet each other at, at, a, how do, how do, at a neutral level, to avoid problem, everybody needs to, things need to change. I'm not saying leave your culture totally, but I'm telling you now, the woman needs to assist. The man needs to assist. Not because you brought her from the village or somewhere. You still expect her to live as if she's living in Nigeria. So all these things, it does not work. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. So this woman is in a, is in, is in a new place. She's trying to find herself right she's trying to get a job she's trying to take care of her children as well she has no house help she's alone it's not like in nigeria maybe you can leave your kids for your mom for your sister or for anybody but here she is alone doing all these things so you need to assist so when you don't assist this woman she feels the body is too much for her if it's a woman who like she, so most of the time, most people don't have patience to communicate to you, to tell you what you're doing wrong. The only thing she will do, she will just leave you. She will just leave you because she will still see other families, right, doing the right thing. She will see her friend's husband helping her. She will see this woman assisting her, husband, her wife. She will, she will see this man assisting her wife. She will see this one assisting the wife. She will see a lot of all these things. But you, you're different. You want to kill her with job. What she will do, she will leave you. So these are another things why this marriage is the break. When you fail to leave those culture, when you fail to leave those tradition aside and come to realization that you are in a new place, you're in a new society, you're in a new environment and things need to change. Right? So most of the time it's not the girl's fault. It is not actually the girl's fault alone. So we need to make things clear before marriage. We need to, and another thing, you need to still ask yourself, this woman I'm going to get married to, what kind of family does she come from? Right? Is she ready for marriage? Because you have the money does not mean that you can make someone get ready. As in, you can make someone ready. You might have the money, but she might not be ready. She might be all about following you. Just, you know, the country is bad. So just, are you ready to, to you, you can just be the sponsor. You can just be the connection that brings her out from, pro, from poverty. So you need to consider all these things. Is this woman actually ready to get married? Are you just pushing her? Are you just forcing her because you have the money? And she's not going to say no. She's not going to tell you no. That's the, that's the worst part of it. So we keep making all these mistakes over and over and over and over again and expect a different result. So when you go and marry that woman because she's beautiful, she's handsome, she's high class and the rest of it, you bring her here, she's, she, won't, she won't disappoint you. Hope, you said, if I find myself in a situation like that, I will blame him for not telling me from the onset. Exactly. So most of these men, they don't tell they, they don't tell these women the truth. But at the end of the day, we want to blame these women. They don't tell them the truth. They don't tell them how things are. 
They don't tell them how things are run. They don't tell, tell them how things function. So they just give you like cut and, you know, cut and join kind of story. Then when you come here, you see the reality by yourself. And these are the things they're supposed to tell you. So that you'll be ready for what you're about to face when you come. So when you come, by the time you come here, so you, you're, you're just out alone like, oh, is this how things are actually? Is this, is this how it is? And most of these girls, they won't take it. It will be too much for them to, uh, you know, to uh, assimilate at the, uh, you know, it will be too much for them at the, at the, at the time. At the, you know, the thing will be just too much. They'll be like, okay, this is not like, this wasn't the picture I had before I came. You told me another thing and now I'm here. Is this where you live? Is this how it is in reality? It is different when you two got married, when you two started your relationship back then in Nigeria and then probably one person moves and bring you and you end up bringing your family with you than when you don't know this woman from the beginning. You just want to get married to her because you have the money. You just want to get married to her because you've, you know, you've spent all your money on her. So because of that, you will get married to her. And she's not going to tell you, you know, because she's trying to run away from her economy. Then when she comes here, what, what, what does this woman do? She will leave you. It's just as simple as that. So most times we see all these things happen, you know, and we want to be like, oh, this woman, she's so wicked. Why did she do this? Then we forget this man. We forget about these men who don't come up front to tell these women the truth. How did you, how was the relationship built? What is, was it built on money? Was it built on you, you know, giving her high hopes? Was it built on you not telling her the reality, the truth? Was it built on you not telling her how things are being run? Was it built on you telling her that... You know, you even, you have another family here. You have another wife or you have a baby mama and the rest of it. Because let me tell you the truth. Most of these men, most of them have kids here with white women as well. Then maybe when you come in, you see how it is like, okay, this man still have contact with his baby mama. He still have a relationship with them because it's not like our Nigerian own. You can just have kids and decide not to, you know, shut them off. It's not like that. Most of these men who are married, who were married or who had baby mamas, who had, who have children, they still are in communication with this woman. So maybe when you come, it will be too much for you to carry. And because this guy didn't tell you all these things. So when you come in, you will not find out that, oh, I can't take this. And I was thinking that this man is for me alone, but I can't stand sharing him with another woman. This is just, the, this is just it. And before you need, know it, this, this, this lady, she, you know, she already have friends who will tell her the way, you know, they're going to show her how to leave you. And she will leave you and she will survive. She will do better than when she was with you. Unfortunately, this is it. So most of these women, they know all these things. They know their rights. When they come, they'll find out that, oh my God, I don't know I have all this right. I don't know I can leave this man. You know, you, you can imagine when she comes to find out that you've lied to her and then she now find out on top of that that she can leave you and still, you know, survive. What do you expect her to do? She's going to leave you. So these are things we do and that are wrong and we forget to, you know, we, we, you know, we do these things, we forget the consequences. So at the end of the day, the end, it is going to end in divorce. This lady is going to leave you and she won't care how much you've spent. She won't care how much you've invested. She won't even care. In, and her parents will even end up denying you. This is just, this is just how it is. Because the moment she's leaving you, she, you know, she's going to get everything, as I said, everything she needs. So she's going to start supporting her family. Maybe she wasn't supporting them the way she was supporting them when she, when she was with you. So now she can support them like more. And her parents will back her up. So at the end of the day, to these men who choose to go back home to get married, make sure you tell these women the truth. It is important. 
Don't leave no stone unturned. Tell them the truth. Tell them how you're living. Tell them the economic situation, how it is for you. I know that most of these people, that you might still tell them the truth. If like a bad woman is a bad woman, let's just agree on that. You might still tell them, you might still open up and tell them everything, how it is. When they still come, before they, before they even come, they already have a bad agenda. I understand that. But always make sure you tell them the truth. Always make sure you tell them the truth. Tell them how it is. You know, make it clear. Let them understand the kind of job you do. Like, break it down. Let them understand so that they are already they already in their mind in their head they already know what they are coming to expect so they don't have high expectations as i said before it is these high expectations that breaks everything because you've given them high expectations so when they come like it's just like killing their ego like i was i was thinking i was coming to meet so 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 but i came i met so 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 you know that kind of so just be as lucky as you can so that when they come when they finally come they'll be like oh it was even more than i expected right it was even more than i expected so now they are even the one they're like ah this i can mind. i was even thinking it was as bad as he was explaining this so i'm telling you how we women how we understand things if you give us that high hope that it is like this we are agreeing that it is like this so but when you bring it down you know we agree that okay maybe it is it is flat so always let them understand always let them understand and at the end of the day make sure you pray over it because at the end of the day it counts a lot make sure you pray over it pray to god because this marriage of a thing is not something like you can still marry a good woman at the end of the day everything will just crash so just pray over it. Tell God to direct you. It is important. Tell God to direct you. And know the family you're marrying from. It is also important. Know the family you're marrying from. Because you have the money does not mean you can do what you like. Sometimes when it comes to marriage, you need to, you know, you need to mellow down. You need to calm down. It is not all about the money. Right? Money can buy you ask but you cannot buy you class at the end of the day so this video was inspired as i said from this family friend of ours that complained about that what his family you know just the wife came and everything just you know everything just went south so just make sure you make your Make your research. Make sure you know this woman you're marrying. Make sure you know their family history. Make sure you know. Make sure you know. Ask questions. Ask questions. And who is this woman? Ask questions. Make sure you ask questions. I know it's not, it is not enough. But sometimes it goes a long way to help. So this is just all I have to say today. And uh, I just hope you pick one or two things from there. If you're a man, if you're living abroad, I just wish you all the best in your quest of looking for or, fi or finding a wife or coming home to look for a wife. Do your homework. Very necessary. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you learned one or two things from this video. And until we see next time, please, if you're not following me, just go there and click the follow button. It is just as easy as ABCD. And as I said, until we see next time, just keep having a beautiful afternoon. Bye and God bless you.